Your training will cover basic operation and functionality of the Segway PT, stepping on and off, moving forward and backward, stopping, turning, proper riding techniques, safety features of the Segway PT, avoiding hazards, and practice drills. Your tour guide will firmly hold the Segway PT handlebar to keep the Segway PT from moving the first time you step on. Do not step on the Segway PT until the tour guide instructs you to do so. Once instructed to do so, hold the handlebar with both hands and gently step up one foot at a time. Avoid moving the handlebar as you step on. Be prepared. Some people rock back and forth when they first step on. Stay calm and relaxed and look forward. If you feel unstable, step off the Segway PT and pause before stepping back on. Do not step off the Segway PT for the first time until your tour guide is holding the handlebar and has instructed you to do so. Remain stationary by keeping your weight centered over the wheels. Without leaning backward or to either side, step off the Segway PT one foot at a time. Never let go of the Segway PT when it is in balance mode. If you let go, the Segway PT will roll forward and could potentially cause injury or damage. Your tour guide will instruct you to slowly lean forward and feel the Segway PT move forward. Then stop leaning forward and feel it slow down and stop. Once instructed, look behind you and then slowly lean back and feel the Segway PT move backward. Slowly backing up is the only time you should experience riding backwards on the Segway PT. Under no circumstances should you attempt to turn while riding backwards. You will learn that stopping a Segway PT when riding forward simply means leaning backwards until the Segway PT comes to a complete stop and then standing upright without leaning forward or backward to stay in place. The Segway PT turns in the direction that you lean the handlebar. You turn the Segway PT by leaning the handlebar left or right. Learning to ride and riding a Segway PT requires concentration and focus. Any distractions while riding or standing on the Segway PT can be dangerous and must be avoided. While riding the Segway PT, you are not permitted to take pictures, talk on a cell phone, smoke, reach into the handlebar bag, or to try to touch another rider or pedestrians. If you must stop and step off the Segway PT, please let your tour guide know at once. Riding a Segway PT improperly can result in serious injury to yourself or others and like any other transportation device could even result in death. When you approach the maximum allowed speed for a given situation, the Segway PT will push the handlebar back to slow you down. This is called the speed limiter. The Segway PT speed limiter is an alert that you are moving too fast. When the speed limiter pushes the handlebar back, stop leaning forward and slow down. Always leave a gap between yourself and the handlebar. This is called the stick shake warning. The stick shake warning will occur if you are demanding too much power from the Segway PT, if you ride backwards too quickly, or if you try to step on when the machine is not ready to balance. If the stick shake warning occurs while riding, slow down. If the stick shake warning persists, come to a stop and safely step off. If the stick shake warning occurs while you are stopped or stuck, step off quickly but in a controlled manner. If the Segway PT detects a fault in any of its redundant systems or a battery is depleted beyond its safe limit, it performs a safety shutdown. When a safety shutdown occurs, the Segway PT automatically reduces its speed, gives the stick shake warning, flashes the balance indicator lights, emits a warning tone, and the info key controller displays an unhappy face. You have approximately 10 seconds from the start of a safety shutdown to come to a controlled stop and step off. After 10 seconds, the Segway PT will immediately shut down when the wheels reach zero speed. Do not get back on the Segway PT after a safety shutdown until the condition that caused the safety shutdown has been identified and corrected. Your eyes are your best tool for safely avoiding obstacles and an accident while riding the Segway PT. Maintain focus on the rider in front of you at all times. Be aware that not every safety issue triggers an alert from the Segway PT. Avoid slippery surfaces and obstacles that could result in a loss of balance or traction and cause a fall. You need to keep a safe distance from obstacles you may encounter on your tour, like curbs, 
walls, and fire hydrants. It is your responsibility to maintain a safe distance between you and other riders. Remember, they may need to stop suddenly. Avoid holes, curbs, steps, and other obstacles, and avoid riding over any surface where the bottom of the Segway PT may strike any object. If you unintentionally turn or drop a wheel off a curb, you could lose control and fall. Stay centered on narrow sidewalks and make sure one wheel does not drop off a curb. The Segway PT is designed to compensate for uneven terrain. When riding over uneven terrain, keep the lean steer frame pointed in the direction you want to move and allow the power base to follow the contour of the ground. To move straight, keep the lean steer frame vertical. On today's tour, you may ride over different types of terrain. Always proceed slowly and carefully when transitioning to unfamiliar terrain. Always keep your knees loose and slightly bent and allow your body to move with the Segway PT. Provided you adhere to all the training instructions and safety warnings provided in this video and your Segway PT training, your tour should be a safe and fun experience. Pay attention to all warnings and alerts from the Segway PT. They indicate unsafe operating conditions. If you do not understand the safety alerts described in this video and demonstrated in training, it is your responsibility to notify your tour guide prior to going on the tour.